something that impacts all of us here. The grid. And as you can see here, the ERCOT grid right here is looking nice and strong. It's doing well. It's a live look right now at the current supply and demand of power in Texas. But the question we always have is will the grid be able to hold up and look like this when our temperatures are higher? ERCOT is facing something it has never seen before. And our Aaron Jones is telling us what that could mean for you. Already it's getting hot, but Brittany Darnell says come July and August. Hi, Brutal. <laughs> it gets really hot in the summertime. So if I didn't have my AC, I would definitely be impacted just because, you know, with summers here in Texas or here in uh, Dallas, they can get up to like, you know, the upper hundreds. But now the Public Utility Commission of Texas and ERCOT are warning about the tight power grid conditions this summer. The Texas grid faces a new reality. Data shows for the first time that the peak demand for electricity this summer will exceed the amount we can generate from on-demand dispatchable power. Meaning coal, natural gas, nuclear energy. Chairman Peter Lake says they'll be relying on renewable energy like solar and wind to keep the lights on. From 2008 to 2022, Texas on-demand dispatchable power supply grew only 1.5%. In that same time frame, our population grew 24%. There's no other large state except maybe for Florida where that's happening. So we do need to pay a lot of attention to the availability of supply, particularly because we have very limited hookups with other states. But energy economist Bud Weinstein says the good news is that we should be able to get through the summer without any serious disruptions. Yeah, I'm just hoping for the best and hoping that, you know, it won't be as brutal. ERCOT says it's also monitoring the potential impacts of the EPA's good neighbor plan for reducing cross state emissions of ozone forming nitrogen oxides. Some generation owners have said certain generators may face operational constraints in complying as soon as July. A, a lawsuit was filed and that has been put on hold. At least temporarily, it's really not an issue because the Fifth Circuit Court stayed the EPA order. And this summer, 8 to 10 p.m. are expected to be the most at-risk hours after we lose solar generation, ERCOT relying on wind generation, which could be a risk. Aaron Jones, CBS News, Texas.